Hey what's up everybody, Anthropic Gaming here. For today's video, I'm going to take a quick look at the original designs for Spyro the Dragon. I hope you enjoy the video, and with that said, let's begin. Crash Bandicoot artist Charles Zambillis was contacted to design the hero for the game, and completed the design in just a day and a half. The character was initially a full-grown dragon, but was made younger to appeal to all ages. This dragon was going to be called Pete, but Universal's lawyers believed any similarities to Disney's Pete Dragon may lead to legal issues. Pete later became Pyro, with his design being a bit bulkier, but was deemed too mature, and was ultimately changed to Spyro. Spyro was originally green, but developers worried he would blend in too much with the green backgrounds, so his color was later changed to purple, to stand out from the grass and other backgrounds, becoming the design of Spyro we know today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you'd like to support the making of future videos, then please don't forget to click the membership button, or check out my links in the description. With that said, I'll see you all next time. Bye.